Praise the Lord. I greet you this morning. My name is Reverend Richard Mochangi. I minister with the Full Gospel Church of Kenya, Yedurai 45. I bless God because of Champion TV for the platform they are giving us to share the Word of God. The Word of God is a key. The Word of God has all the blessings and the benefit that we need in this life. And when you give the Word of God chance over your life, it's like you are just giving God access over your life. And when God comes into your life, I want to tell you your life will never remain the same again. The word in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, the Bible says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. This morning I want to share the word of God to you that you need not to trouble your heart. The spirit of anxiety. It is the spirit that has affected many people because people are living in the fear of the unknown. They are living with a life full of stress, full of depression because of the nature of the life that they are living. But this morning, the servant of God, Paul, is telling us that we need not to be careful about anything. And let me tell you as a theologian, this book of Philippians, it was written by Apostle Paul when he was in prison. These are the books that we call prison epistles. And according to my thinking and my imagination, I thought the people that were out there, they are the people that were supposed to be writing to Paul and encouraging him because already he was locked in prison but you can see this guy who is in a chain who is locked in a prison his heart was not embowed his heart was not locked he was able to encourage the people who were out there telling them you should not be anxious about anything you should not be troubled about anything but in everything by prayer i want to tell you child of god there is power in prayer when things are not good don't trouble yourself because nothing you are going to add into your life because of anxiety. And Jesus asked this question, who can add even one inch of his height because of troubling themselves? Who can add just a single hair of his head because of troubling themselves? I want to tell you, living a life of anxiety, living a life of troubling yourself, a life of stress, a life of encouraging many negative thoughts in your mind, a life of regretting and asking, why me, Lord? It will not help you. The word of God is telling you this morning, be troubled about nothing. Don't allow your heart to be stressed. When you speak to the counselors, they will tell you many sicknesses. They are just as a result of stress. When people trouble themselves, when people encourage those negative thoughts in their mind, then they go to the stage called the stage of stress. After stress, they go to stage called the stress, the stage of depression. And now when you go to the stage of depression, depression is a mother of many diseases. Call them heart attack kidney failure, talk about the, 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 the sicknesses of the mind, psych, psychosmostic illnesses, the, the sickness of the mind, they come as a result of troubling yourself. They come as a result of anxiety. This morning, the word of God is speaking to you. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, supplication, and with thanksgiving. And the Bible says, your request will be made known unto God. You just need to tell God your needs. Let God know your needs. Let God know whatever you are going through. Many a times we speak our needs to people but I want to bring to your attention people may not have your answer. People may not help you. There are people that you even share with and instead of helping you they will go and divertising you. They will go speaking against you. But when you let God know your need, I want to encourage you child of God. I want to assure you our God is faithful. When we pray God answers prayers. The word of God is do not trouble your heart but believe in God. Speak to him through the words of prayer and through prayers great things will happen. Paul continues to say when we do that, that the peace of God that is far beyond human understanding will keep our heart and our mind in Christ Jesus. When we decide I will not trouble myself again. I will not live a life of depression again. I will, I will not live a life 
of asking many questions, blaming our failures on other people. But I'm believing in God. I'll be a man of prayer. And I want to tell you, child of God, when you become a man of prayer, when you continue thanking God, the Bible says, by prayers, supplication, with thanksgiving. Can you imagine thanking God, not only because of the things that he has done, but thanking him because he is God. Even when you think things, when you think things are not moving your way, God remains to be God. You need not to trouble yourself. Believe in God. And when you pray, when you thank him, great and mighty things are going to happen in your life. This morning I want to command blessings upon your life. Maybe there are many things that they are making you to be troubled, that they are making you to be stressed, up, that they are making you to be distressed. Up. But I want to tell you, when we pray, God is going to do something in your life. Just believe with me. Lace your faith with my faith that as we are praying this prayer, no more trouble. We are not going to stress ourselves. God is about to do something new in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray with my dear few or whatever they are. Them that are going through challenges, them that are going through, uh, you know, many, many bad things, I pray in the name of the Lord, you may remember your masses upon them. You have told us that we need not to be anxious about anything, but just to believe in you. I pray for healing power. I pray for deliverance. Pray for financial breakthrough in the lives of my dear viewers. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. May the Lord bless you. Once again, my name is Reverend Richard Mochangi. I minister with the full gospel church of Kenya, Gidurai 45. Shalom, peace. May the Lord bless you.